In the run-up to the Delhi Assembly elections, two videos appeared online featuring BJP candidate Manoj Tiwari, one in Haryanvi and the other in English. Friends, I'm here just to ask about the work accounted for. In those videos, Tiwari was seen as criticizing the AAP-led Delhi government for its failures and appealing to viewers to vote for him. Nothing out of the ordinary, right? Except, Manoj Tiwari never spoke those words, nor did he make those videos. Those two videos were the first deep fakes ever to be used in an Indian election. Deep fakes, as the name suggests, is fake audio or visual content and has been wreaking havoc since 2018. This video, however, is not about deep fakes, but the complex web that powers it. Let us try to untangle this curious case of GANs. Upgrad Future Forward – Stories from the Now about the future. If you want to understand GANs, we will have to start with these people. People who are responsible for GANs becoming an overnight internet sensation. This is Rita Abraham, a 28-year-old tech student living in Atlanta. This is Chris Roberts, a 32-year-old actor living in Los Angeles. And this is Alex, a 46-year-old music teacher in Kansas City. What do these three people have in common though? For starters, well, they don't exist. These images have been created by machine learning algorithms. Not just any machine learning algorithms, but the coolest algorithms in the last decade. GANs, or Generative Adversarial Networks, have a way of bringing out the best in machine learning. So, what is GANs? GANs is a series of multiple networks keeping each other in check while producing content. There are generative AI models that generate or produce content kept in check by a detective network, which is adversarial in nature. Initially, the discriminator is not that skilled, but can easily compare the image that the generator has created with the original training samples. So, it can easily catch the generator. So, after getting failed in increasing the discriminator's error rate, the generator has to undergo training. And after training, it creates some new images which are very much indistinguishable for the discriminator to catch on. So, what will happen is that you will get a generator which can create according to your needs. If this happens because it understands the underlying structure of the image. It understands what is the link between the input data and the output image. A good example to understand GANs is the Indian-Pakistan cricket rivalry. Both the teams have been adversaries since they started playing. All throughout the 90s, they tried to keep each other in check. We saw the emergence of some of the most prolific cricket stars in the history of sports that helped put the subcontinent's cricket on the world map. It was, in a nutshell, two adversaries coming together to make each other better. And the result was just amazing content. The way GANs differs from a purely adversarial relationship is that it does not follow a zero-sum game. The only winner is the content and everyone knows that even the network. So, what can you do with GANs? GANs was first implemented as an unsupervised learning model for AI. It is your regular machine learning, but instead of a human supervisor, it's just another machine. The evidence suggests that machines can not only help other machines learn, but they can do it faster, better and with more accuracy. Essentially, GANs can be used to train a model with fewer data and provide predictions on missing data. It will also be deployed to represent and manipulate high-dimensional probability distributions. Overall, we can see GANs being utilized to reach super resolution. It will play a crucial part in the future of video upscaling and 3D modeling. We've already seen that GANs is capable of a realistic generation of samples from some distribution. It can create something out of just plain noise. Remember, these people don't exist. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from Upgrad.